That's the leap cockroach that we've just been talking about. Now we can see from the image that its back legs are morphologically adapted for jumping like crickets and grasshoppers and this is unusual for a cockroach. Mm. And this means that also this is more of a diurnal cockroach and most cockroaches tend to hide during the day whereas this one probably doesn't. So that's an interesting new discovery for 2010. And before 2010 this would have been um, a cryptid or a, a cryptozoological specimen because it was unclassified. It didn't exist as far as science goes, but it does exist now. Okay. And um, of course, people think that this is a, a myth, um, very much so. And uh, we're talking of the Yeti, aren't we? Right. If we're moving on to the Yeti now, now, this is a fascinating subject because, again, it could be a myth or it might not be. But the fact is, the Yeti is a subject that still goes on today and there is no evidence to disprove or prove its existence. Mm. A very interesting find was made in Inner Mongolia in the ancient volcanic ash. Mm. Hidden beneath the snow, they found a new fossil. And this fossil is of the largest spider ever found. It is of a Nephila spider, and our Nephila spiders exist today, today. And these are huge orbweb spiders, also known as golden orbweb spiders, that live in tropical areas of the world. And this would indicate that this part of Mongolia was probably tropical and lush during the late Jurassic when this spider existed. It's now aptly named Nephila jurassica. And mm. it's about six and a half centimetres, which makes it a similar size to the Nephila that are found today. Now, what's interesting is that this spider existed over 130 million years ago. Mm. And the Nephila, which exist today, today are almost exactly the same. Now, it's interesting that Nephila existed so far back when there are other spiders, such as Lephistius, which are more ancient forms of arachnid, and therefore this makes them even older than we thought. Mm. So therefore, this fossil indicates that spiders are older than we first thought.